Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please, leave what does not. You have the justice card out here first. Hmm. Something about truth and fairness here. Something about balance. This is also Libra energy here. We got two of wands. There's somebody that you could be planning something or something is about to move forward or somebody is realizing something is coming or something is about to be balanced here. Like somebody's seeing it before it happens possibly or somebody knows it's a goal like something has to be balanced it's a goal like it's something that you're meant to do you're meant to realize this is the goal you have the queen of pentacles here hmm this could have something to do with a mother figure. Like it could have something to do with, it doesn't have to be a mother figure. I mean, like who I'm talking to, it could be a queen of pentacles, could be an earth sign or something like that, very nurturing. But I'm just, I'm getting something has to be balanced here. Like between two people or something. Look at that, the full card, like, this is what is meant. It's like somebody has to take a chance on this. Somebody has to do this. This is like, this is somebody's new beginning. Wait, was that a card flipped out? What the King of Pentacles? I didn't even realize that. The King of Pentacles here. It's like, is somebody, is this a marriage? Because I don't see any cups, but I see justice here. I see the king and the queen of pentacles. It could be like a profession or like a business or like a partnership or like it could be one person that's just moving on up or they're about to move up in like a pay scale or about to get more money or something like that. Somebody needs to, it's something that needs to be balanced before this can happen. Like somebody, I don't know if it's some shit, some paperwork or some shit you need to fill out or I don't know if it's something you need to say, something you need to do. Like, it's like, it's giving me like, this is the last opportunity or something like that. Like, this is your chance right now before something changes, before something increases, before something, something, something. Damn, I'm telling you with this tower card. I'm telling you. This is very, very unexpected. Like, it's very, very unexpected. It's coming out of nowhere. <sighs> whatever this is, somebody need to, you need to do whatever you got to do. You need to balance some shit out. Because it's not, it's not, you're not always going to have this opportunity. What's this at the bottom? The Hierophant. Something about, you know, having integrity, something about doing the right thing. Could be something about maturity. Could be something about, you know, spirituality. Like doing the, how can I say, being that person. Okay, being that official person. Like there's something, it's a, I don't know if it's a test, but it's definitely something that needs to be balanced out. Like, even on the justice card, let me, I normally don't like look at the words on the card, but let me see. Justice says unified love, partnership, mutual attraction, proposal, marriage, and connection. It doesn't have to mean those things. Those are just the key words. But there's something here that it just has to be balanced. Like, divine justice is a whole nother scale of justice. But it could have something to do with court. It could have something to do with legal matters. 
But whatever it is, it's about being fair. Because this two of wands, this person is facing the justice card. And the queen of cups is facing the justice card. You could be an earth sign. Okay? It could have something to do with a Libra. It could have something to do with a Taurus. Okay. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Like, this is... This is for real. This could even have... I mean, the way I'm looking at this this Hierophant at the bottom of the deck, because this is a high stack right here. It's almost giving me, like... It's definitely giving me Priest. It's definitely giving me, like... Especially with Justice and the Hierophant, it's like marriage of some sort. Like, the marriage of something, like something has to be like bonded or i don't know how to say like it just has to be balanced that's it's so many ways to say it but it's like i feel a new beginning coming for somebody and i feel like this has to be done before this happens <clears throat> but i definitely feel like somebody yeah this feels like some type of like Ten of Pentacles can be family, okay? It can be some type of inheritance. It can be some type of legacy, okay? Five of Cups is making me feel like somebody's losing somebody and getting this money. Somebody's about to lose somebody and get this money. That's what it's making me feel. Or something is about to be lost that's going to bring this in. Or something legal here, maybe something about divorce or something like that. Like, it has to be balanced. Or if somebody's going to get a divorce, you need to just go ahead and go on and get it. Because something about to, something about to happen and, you know, you don't want to be too late for some shit. I feel like spirit is urging somebody to, to do something here. Or to realize this is what's happening or realize this direction that is determined to go. You got to balance something. Or you have to be prepared. Let's say it like that. You got to be prepared for something. You got to be prepared for justice. You have to be prepared for it, though. That's what I'm seeing. Because when justice hits, don't nobody know when that's going to happen. You got to be prepared, though. Page of Cups. This might hurt somebody. Like, really, Page of Cups and then the Five of Cups also. Wait a minute. This damn mic, hold on, my foot is like, how does my foot get like wrapped around it like that? Damn, that's crazy as hell. Okay. <laughs> Let me get something out with this page of cups. I do feel like this is going to really hurt somebody. Like, I almost feel like somebody's saying goodbye to somebody. You see this page of cups and they're looking up at, like, feed. And, you know, I know they're imagining something, but their heart is even, like, lit up. You see their heart and it's, like, the, the light coming from the heart and stuff like that. Like, somebody's, like, somebody's, like, it feels like reminiscing or something like that, to be honest. Like, thinking about something. Because something's going to come in. This is, like, money that's going to come in. king of sword here somebody's that's what i'm saying about being prepared somebody's going to have to know something or they're going to have to know the way or the facts or somebody's going to have to be very smart somebody's going to have to like have a plan or something like that because something here is about to something here is about to balance and it's going to send somebody in a whole nother direction and it's very unexpected here. You got the Six of Cups reminiscing. That's what I was feeling when I seen the Page of Cups looking up like that. Is something here from the past or is something like something that somebody's thinking that they want to make real or they want to they want to do it the right way or like what if it was something that you always wanted to do but you just, you know, maybe you didn't have the money or maybe, you know, 
maybe you just didn't have the resources or something like that. And it's like, if you're given that opportunity, are you going to do it? You should. That's what this whole thing is about. This could have, you know, to be honest, another thing, I don't know where everybody is in this energy. This could have been something that has already happened. And maybe this is somebody that, oh, shit, maybe I didn't have a plan. Maybe now I can think about that. Maybe now it's like maybe this is just a reminder. We got the nine of cups, though. Wow. Yeah, somebody is going to make this real. Somebody's going to do something here. They're going to make their dreams come true. They're going to make something real here. Like something from the past here. Something. It's almost like, let's say somebody else wanted to open. Oh, you got the emperor here too. But that's okay. We'll take something from the top. The hangman. Like it could be the energy of, let's say, let's say one of your parents wanted to open a restaurant or something like that. It's just, just an example. Okay. I feel like maybe they didn't get to open it, but you're going to get to open it maybe because they left you an inheritance or something like that. It doesn't have to be that, but it's giving me that kind of energy. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's something that y'all said y'all was going to do together. Maybe it's something that only you wanted. Okay. Well, actually the emperor is here. So this is about him. I'm sorry. The emperor is here. Like they're, they're Aries. So it's really about what you want. It's really about what direction that you want to go. So somebody has to be sure. Somebody has to be sure that this is what they want to do here. You got the Howard front as well as the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. You have the Lover's card. You got Gemini energy here. The Lover's card. Something about partnerships. Like, I don't know what this was. It's like it has something to do with money or like it's letting something go and letting the abundance come in. It's like a bittersweet kind of energy, like someone has to lose something in order to gain something. And it's from this partnership. Look at this two of cups. This is like twin flame, like soulmate energy here. And it's like somebody had man this is crazy as hell somebody had to lose somebody that close to them in order to get this dream but it's not like somebody brought this on this is divine justice this is not and the hierophant is here this is god this is something that like there's somebody here meant to do something on this earth and something is going to be left to you in order to do that but it just so happens that it's like it comes along with the other side of it. You know, it's very sad, actually. But it's like they're always with you. Look at this, man. Three of sword. This is fucking bittersweet, man. This is like three swords through the heart. And it's Saturn in Libra energy. Saturn in Libra. This is a hard truth. It's a hard balance. It's a hard lesson about love and partnerships. It's a hard lesson, but there's something here that, man, this is the craziest energy because it's like, you have something to bring into this world. You have something to do in this world. But it, but this is how it has to be balanced, though. It's so sad. Three of Pentacles here. This could be the end of some type of group, some type of partnership, some type of business venture, some type of something that was built. It's like it's something that was it could have been already built or something that you're going to build. You have the queen of cups here. 
This is somebody very caring, very nurturing here, like a mother figure. Like this is, it's the love of a mother. It doesn't have to be a woman. It can be a man also, but this is like, it's a very connected energy. This is like consciousness and it's on top of the six of cups. I don't know. This could be like a really close loved one. It could be a parent figure or somebody that seemed like a parent, somebody that was just very stable in their energy and very loving in their energy. And it's like, I just feel like somebody is just always with whoever this is. They're just always with always with you. If this person has like passed on or something, this person is always with you. OK, it's something here where like something cannot be taken away. That's what I'm seeing here. It just can't be taken away. It can't be denied. But something here has to be balanced. I don't know if it's legal matters. I don't know if something has to be said or something had to be said or something has to be done. I don't know exactly what it is, but somebody needs to understand that it doesn't stop at the pain. It goes further than that. I know it seems very like that's very Aries like to say that, right? Very Aries like to just be like, okay, we got to you got to move on with the show or the show must go on. It's very it might seem insensitive. Okay. Nobody's rushing nobody, but it's it's true. It's true that this earth is something else. It's the marketplace. You know, we're not here forever. We're here for a period of time and things happen to make this world a better place. And sometimes we're just part of, well, not sometimes we're always part of God's plan. We're always being used by God, especially if we're in line with who we are, you know, especially when we're in line with who we are. It's not a punishment. It's a, Man, it's so fucked up to say it, but it's like it's it's damn near a reward because it's like you're supposed to bring something into this world and you're going to do it. And it's like somebody needs to somebody needs to realize this, like realize why they're in this spot, realize why it's like an uncomfortable spot. Like maybe somebody can't move or they feel like they can't move or like they just don't know what to do or they don't know where to begin or they don't know this. They don't know that. But it's like this. That's probably why this reading has happened to let somebody know at least know that things still have to move forward in some kind of way. You know, don't think that this Ten of Pentacles came out here first. Don't think that this Ten of Pentacles is just out here for nothing. That's a legacy. That's leaving something behind. It's like that's part of the plan. It's it's somebody has a legacy to leave behind. You got the King of Wands also. Wow. This is a very beautiful energy here. It's like something about something being built and putting your heart and soul into it. Maybe somebody built something like that and they put their heart and soul into something. Like this is somebody that's a leader, though. You got even the nine of Pentacles at the bottom. Now you got the two of sword, though. Yeah, this is somebody being unsure how to do something or unsure how to move forward, unsure how to like what to do, how to make this happen. I really think the answers will come because, like I said, this person is with you. If I'm telling you, this person's either going to be with you or this person's already with you. But it's like you have a mission to do and you have to you have to unlock it. You have to realize what it is. You have to. And the nine of Pentacles at the bottom is something here like it's for you to do. It could even be something religious that you want to do. Or something you want to teach or something you want to open up something is some type of business here that's meant to be like done and somebody's going to leave it behind or, or it's going to be it's a legacy i'm trying to tell you like the story does not end when we pass away you know that's just our body but that's not our soul you know and also god's plan does not stop just because people pass away that's also part of God's plan. It's a cycle. This is the thing about life. People have to get with the program that there is two sides to everything. Everything. You need a man and a woman to make a baby. That's and that's clue enough. You got the light and the dark. That's clue enough. You have the good and the bad. That's clue enough. It's death and life. All of these things are clues to the duality that exists in this universe that it holds everything together. There is no life without the duality. There is no three without the two, without the one. Do you get what I'm saying? And it all leads back to one. 
Okay? It goes from the one to the two to the three. You can't get to the three if you don't got the two. And three is when all of this shit is unified. Is when it's unified, the light and the dark, and realizing it, and it, it's there. That's three. It becomes from two to three once you realize the duality is there because you become aware of the two and you are part of it. I don't know if, damn, I done dropped all the cards. Let me just pull the one that's in my hand. We got Mother, Father, God. I done dropped all the cards. It says strength and guidance here. Somebody's very connected with spirit, with God. Mother, Father, God. Somebody's very connected here. This is amazing. I just know that somebody needs to be ready and somebody needs to realize why this is happening and it's it's part of God's plan, okay? I'm gonna leave it right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I really, really appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.